so in this video we are going to see how to create query reports in SAP so basically query report creation is a reporting tool and we can also create our own customized reports and this is the standard feature available in the system so we don't need any coding or ABAP knowledge for creating the query reports so basically when we are posting any data in system SAP store all the data in the backend tables so backend tables store all the financial transactional and master data so in the yesterday video we created some GL accounts so let's see where these GL accounts are stored in the backend tables so to display backend tables we are going to use SC16N transaction code and two tables are used for displaying the general ledger master record one is for chart of account level and another one is for company code level so let's go and see uh, this is for company code level I am going to extract the company code level general ledger accounts and I input my company code and ex execute the transaction so you can see these two general ledger accounts I created yesterday so I'm going to create query report for displaying the general ledger master record and I'm using these both tables and join them and create the query report so for creating the query report I'm going to use SQ03 to create the user group I'm going to use user group and uh, now I'm going to create this this is SAP 01 this is my user group SAP 01 and I'm going to save this mostly we are going to save this the object directory entry in the local object so this is not available I am going to use the standard package so let's go and save the standard package so all the data will be stored in the transport request and my users group is created I am now I am going to create info set sq02 for creating info set I am going to create info set SAP01. This will be my info set. I am going to create SAP01 info set. I am going to use both tables SKA1 and SKB1. So I am going to use SKA1 and let's create the database and I'm going to join the board tables SKB1 here so you can see system join board tables by using the common field so to join the tables two options are available one is an inner join and another one is left outer join so in the outer join system is going to pick both the tables data and for inner join system is going to pick the common data available in both the systems so I am going to use the left outer join and to extract all the data in our system so these tables are now joined together create the info set and save this save and go back and create a query report now so this info set must be joined to our user group 
So I'm going to use the info set and let's go and join this with our user group and my user group is SAP01 and assign this and save. So user group is assigned now and go to query report SQL01 and I'm going to use query report gl underscore master so I'm going to create the gl master data report and gl master data report so the basic list and I'm going to define the list fields so list fields are the report data and the selection field or going to select the master data displayed at the list field so I'm going to use company code and chart of account as a selection field so all the other fields will be displayed as the list fields so let's select all the fields I'm going to select all the fields uh, and one selection field is company code another one is chart of account so now the system will going to select these both options and display the list field available for these both options so these are the enough I am going to test the report And now going to test the report. I'm not going to use any variant, and I'm going to extract the report available for this company code and for this chart of account. So, two general ledger accounts are created against these company code and the chart of account. So, I'm going to execute. So, you can see two general ledger accounts are created for these for the company code HA01 and for chart of account COA01 so this is the way we are going to create the query report so that's all